Hi and welcome to Studio MDAZ. I am Debbie and I have the privilege and honor of doing a segment for the Crafty Creators community tonight with uh, Christy and Tammy. And so thank you all so much for having me. And I'm hoping that, um, yes, I can already see comments. Great. Uh, let me get my glasses on. Hi, Linda. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Tammy. Yeah, this is going to be our first one of the year, you guys. This is our first Valentine. And um, I've said before, we're not going to do a ton of them. But we will do, we'll do enough to make it fun. And I promise you, this one's going to be fun. Uh, hi, Terry. Hi, Debbie Freeman. Hi, Allison. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. It's a wool sweater, and I'm a little... It's like different colors and I'm a little warm. But other than that, hi, Tammy Durans. Uh, thank you, thank you. Hi, Lynn, hi, Micheline. Uh, hi, Kimberly, hi, Diane. Okay, guys, I have, um, uh, I have an hour, I hope. Oh gosh, yeah, I do, I have an hour. Uh, I could have gotten, I, I had a million different projects that I wanted to do tonight. Uh, and I just couldn't decide. So literally about 30 minutes ago, I decided and I was like, yeah, they're going to love this one. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Kim. Hi, Tana. Hi, Terry. Uh, hi, Kelly. So uh, the uh, emphasis, the theme of our, uh, the, you know, tonight's marathon is uh, Mackenzie Childs. And so that couldn't be more wonderful or up my alley. Hi, Viv. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Mary. Uh, Terry Pritchett, you've been shopping all, thrift shopping all day, my favorite thing in the whole world. Hi, Sherry Hughes. Hi, Terry. Okay, I gotta get started, you guys. Hi, Robin. I'll, I'll try and keep up. Also, we are in um, studio, so I usually try and keep it to a, a, a little bit of a bare minimum. Hi, Karen Bouch. I feel like we haven't seen you in forever. Hi, Joanne. So, I got a card from my friend Mary, uh, who was my old business partner. Hi, Pamela. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, oh, you guys, thank you so much. I, this is only my second time with stars. I still can't believe it. It's so cool. Hi, Susan Berg. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy Prangle. Thank you for being here. And you guys, if I by chance thanked you for stars uh, the other day when it came on and you didn't, Please don't feel bad. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing with the whole stars thing yet. I'm working on it. But um, thank you so much, you guys. That's so sweet. Hi, Patricia. Uh, you, oh, thank you. And thank you. If you if you wouldn't mind sharing, that would be awesome too. They always say I don't promote the like my show enough, so I'm gonna say it. Uh, Check Savvy Sisters is my other page. And thank you, thank you so much for the stars. And if you're not following me, please follow me right at Studio M D A Z. M D spell uh, stands for Mary Debbie. Uh, Mary was my business partner, and she uh, she died of colon cancer last year. And in her honor, we're keeping the name. And A Z is because I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. So, hi everybody. So if I miss you, just know I'll go back and acknowledge that you were here. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. 700 stars already, you guys are so sweet. Okay, so for those who don't know me, I love to either uh, take stuff apart, put it back together, or buy a bunch of different things. And Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you. <laughs> Another stars party, how fun is that? Thank you so much. Uh, Sherry Hughes, you like that I'm later. Okay, Marcella, thank you for sprinkling, I appreciate it. Uh, Paula will join our sisterhood, sister, because that's where all of our classes are now. Hi, Shirley Ann. So I love to take things apart, put them back together, get new things, and put them together not the way they were probably meant to be. So I was at Goodwill, and this is my, um, this is my inspiration piece. I was at Goodwill and found this Cupid's arrow for uh, $3.49. And of course, I only go on senior day, so I got 50 off, no, 20 off, 25 off. I think you get 25 off. So, okay, thank you so much for sharing, you guys, and thank you so, so very much for the stars. Cupid's arrow. Now, you can find these anywhere. I've looked around. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. You might be able to find them at Michael's, so just look for them. Uh, hi, Jamie, hi, Janice. So, this then I found, 
and I thought, okay, this is adorable. This came from Home Goods, and I thought, oh yeah, I can do something cute with this. So I got that, and I thought, but it's not enough. So I was at, uh, where's this from? This is from Hobby Lobby. So I'm at Hobby Lobby uh, Saturday, and I see this, and I loved the size of it. So, um, oh good, Paul, I'm so glad. That's awesome. So what we're gonna do, I always love to give you an idea of what we're gonna do, and then I show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to paint the this part, just the silver, in black and white stripe, and I'm going to use a McKinsey Child-ish drag, because that's what we do and that's what I teach, um, and that's what I'm known for. I'm known for the, I'm, I'm the, the master checker. I'm known for my uh, black and white checks, stripes, and anything that looks designer-ish like McKinsey Child's. I'm going to put this paper down, then this. I've got, the reason why my title is Looking for My Stud Muffin, is because we're going to put him inside of here also. And I've got stickles and bling. So just settle in, hang out. It's only an hour. And I promise you, you will enjoy this a lot. Okay, I found him in a package of stuff at Hobby Lobby. And I am almost positive it's a Tim Holtz. Yes, I'm positive. It's Tim Holtz package of all kinds of funny stuff. So go on to... Um, when you're in Hobby Lobby, look for the Tim Holtz stuff. It is a little warm in here. Uh, hi, Juana. Okay, so I'm just using a straight, what I always use, which is Benjamin Moore OC-117. Uh, don't acknowledge him, you guys. Don't worry about it. Kathy will get him. She's, a, she's mean. Kathy Spang is my uh, admin, if, so if you all see her, she, uh, she will take care of any other any issues we have. So uh, anyway, OC117, Benjamin Moore OC117 is my most favorite. Have I got my light on? It's dark. I do have my light on. I have all my lights on. Is it really dark? Is everybody seeing it dark? Because I'll move. Uh, it will be fun. You thought Bill was missing. <laughs> um, let me know if, if it is dark because I'll, I'll move my lighting. Uh, closer, you guys. Uh, never. Usually, I feel like I'm I'm too bright. It's too much. Uh, let me grab a. Sorry, let me grab a paper towel. I've been organizing all day today. Kathy Spain came over here and helped me all day. We've been organizing. Uh, not dark here. Okay, then I think we'll just go with it. Okay. Now, normally, when something is shiny and metal. You're going to want to, okay, good. Everybody said lighting is okay. All right, so uh, it's probably because I'm darker than usual and it's also later than usual for me to go on. Normally I would put on like a Dixie Belle slick stick or a base coat of primer or something. I don't have time for that today, you guys. And this is not going to be like touched and just trust me, nothing's gonna happen to it. You can do this all day long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rather than do one at a time, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing in white because when I do my drag, I do my drag right over my white. So if you're saying, well, why in the world aren't you doing every other one uh, you know, in black? It's because this is quicker and easier for me, trust me. And I'm also using a little uh, dollop of Master's Touch Thick body acrylic parchment. I put just a dollop on my plate, and what I do is I mix the two together, and it gives me a perfect opaque or a heavier base coat every time. Did you get all your, uh, I missed it. I, I, I missed that one, sorry. Oh, did I get my bling reorganized? Yes, If for um, probably most of you that didn't see me last night, I went live on my, uh, my membership page, which is Check Savvy Sisterhood, and I have a huge bin of uh, bling. And last night, right towards the end of my video, all of a sudden, I said, um, oh my gosh, and they heard it. It was a huge crash, probably heard all around the world, and it was all of my bling. And I, I have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces and I had it all perfectly organized. And when it flipped over, it flipped over like a peanut butter sandwich. So 
Hi everybody, thank you so much for being here. This is unusual for me. I am, I, this time of day is usually not my gig. I like to go around 2.30 in the afternoon or in the morning, but um, this is fun. It is fun for a change to see uh, who all likes this time of night also. Lighting is still good, okay. And you guys, normally, I have everything prepared ahead of time as far as base coating. I didn't do it tonight because I have an hour. And frankly, I really wanted you to see the whole project start to finish. And um, let's just all cross our fingers that we can finish it. I had another marathon this weekend. And um, somebody, I can't remember who said it, but it made me laugh so hard, said, I've never watched a, a crafter and had my heart pounding all at the same time, making sure that I was going to get my craft done on time. So anyway, I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, uh, there you are. You found me. Okay. Hi, Pam. Uh, Oh, that's funny. So you, um, for those of you that already have a stud muffin maybe, or have a girlfriend, this would be a perfect gift for a girlfriend, a single girlfriend, or you could also put in something completely different, like a card. You could cut this out. And I do have my camera backwards for you guys. So, well, I have it the right way. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. It says, I'm sure you love me for more than my cupcakes. Uh, Maybe a little inappropriate, but uh, that would be darling in the center of this also. So just know you could use um, pinups. I love this. I found this online and just printed it out. So if you guys aren't aware of that, just print out. You can print out anything on the internet. Um, you know, you've got to you've got to watch. Some of them will have watermarks on them and stuff like that. But for the most part, if you Google, um, uh, I always Google like. Funny 50s housewives or sarcastic 50s housewives or um, uh, pinups, pinup dolls, things like that. Uh, you'll get all kinds of stuff that you can just print off yourself. Where did the heart come from? The big heart is Hobby Lobby. It's right in that front. I always, it's so funny to me because I always say where in Hobby Lobby it is because I really do think they're all set up the same. Just past the cashier is always like, like whatever the major holiday is right now. And uh, the kind of, you like to watch me earlier too. Okay, good, good to know. Hi, Sharon. Uh, so anyway, it's right there in the front. This is, this is where this is. So if you um, love this heart, there's a lot, a lot, a lot you can do with this heart. This is just one idea that I had but I've been playing around with it for a while this afternoon and I thought, oh, there's so much I could do with this heart. Okay, because I'm gonna let that sit just for a minute and while that's drying up a little bit, and it, it you know, the acrylic dries right away, you guys, so. Okay, let's set that aside for one second. Uh, brush in the water and let's cut out our little stud muffin. I think he's so cute. Like I said, this is at um, Hobby Lobby or uh, Michael's, I believe, also. Uh, St. Patrick's Crafts. Yeah, I'm going to do one St. Patrick's Craft this year and probably right on St. Patrick's Day. Or, well, no, I'll probably do it a week before. So if anybody wanted to do it, they could go get it. But uh, I, I've never been a big celebrate um, celebrate St. Patrick's Day, even though I will, I will always wear green. I do love to do that. Uh, Kathy Chase, you are the sweetest. Thank you so much. Hi, Lynn. Uh, so again, for any of you all that don't know me, I'm Debbie with Studio MD, if you're following on another page. And uh, if you are following on a, another page, I would absolutely love it if you would come here and join me here. We do all kinds of stuff and um, lots and lots of projects. And we do quite a bit every week. So I think it uh, it's a good place to come if you want some entertainment because usually I screw something up and it's always it's always something and there's that because I always say I I don't like practice ahead of time with my stuff I love a surprise factor and I think everybody else does too and you know what everything doesn't always turn out just like for you at your house everything doesn't always turn out right and if it doesn't I'm just like oh well now you guys know save your money don't waste your money you can see I'm doing what they call a fussy cut on him. I'm cropping him out completely. I don't want any of the white on him. Hi, Sandy. 
Uh, hi, Sally Casey. Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for sprinkling, you guys. That is such a treat. And again, thank you so much for the stars. But I haven't figured out, if somebody could tell me, how do I know who sent stars? Because I seriously think I thanked a whole bunch of people for stars uh, this weekend, and um, I don't know that they all did. So, yes, that's your advice. Join our sisterhood, you guys. Uh, yeah, so some, uh, thank you for the hearts, too. You guys are so sweet. Um, yeah. All right, so let's cut him out. And I'm also going to put a crown on his head because I put a crown on everything, and it's just funny. He's going to look like a king. So we're going to add this to his head also, just for kicks. You guys, I love fun and funny stuff. Uh, Marianne, thank you. You have, I have started flipping my camera because I figure I need to learn. Um, I do a lot of YouTube videos also, and I'll tell you what, those people over there, uh, Facebook people have some tact, well, for the most part, but, um, you can't figure out the stars, Tana. <laughs> I can't either, but I appreciate it. I know it helps all of us because we go out and buy all this stuff. And so it helps us all so much. I appreciate it a lot, you guys. Hi, April. Uh, okay. So we're going to have that on there. And again, I got him at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. He is Tim Holtz. Uh, Maureen, that's hysterical. Thank you so much. It's probably because I screw up all the time. Uh, and these are my, these are my Christmas present. So this is Metal Gallery. This is where I got this crown. They have the best crowns. Uh, you guys are funny. They have the best crowns at Hobby Lobby. So look in their jewelry, jewelry aisle, uh, where all the beads and the jewelry is, and every single week, it's a different uh, maker. Like there's a, a fairy tale, there's all kinds of stuff. Barbara, thank you, you are, you are sweet. Uh, so anyway, 50% off, $4.99, $2.50. Now I know you're saying, well, that's a lot for one project, but not when it's the sole part of your project. Um, hi, Solly, did I just see Solly's here? I was on uh, your video the other night watching um, all kinds of stuff that you were doing. So I hope you're here. That's fun. Where are the hearts from? Okay, so Debbie, this one is from Hobby Lobby. This one is absolutely adorable and it is from Home Goods. It doesn't have to be this one. You don't even need that one. You could have done it just from here, but I love to build up and build up and build up and I like to take everything up at least a couple notches. So that is why I, I love a layering look. And um, just for the record, this, I will have an auction sometime this month. And, um, or if it's not this month, it'll be the beginning of February. And this, of course, will be in my auction for sale. Uh, Freddie Mercury, he totally does. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, that is so funny. So yeah, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, the Cupid's arrow I happened to find at Goodwill. What a fluke that was, and I couldn't have been happier. And you know, when the people come out from the back with the big carts, that's where you need to be waiting, and they always come out around the home decor area. I'm always waiting, just kind of lurking around there when um, I see them start to bring some of those carts out because that's always where the good stuff is. Oh, that's right, you guys. Yes, Walmart has great... Walmart does have great crowns too, and they're very inexpensive. But only if you have a, um, only if you have a crafting uh, aisle in your Walmart, and I know not everyone does. What is our YouTube channel? Uh, it's just Studio MDAZ on YouTube, and I have a whole bunch of videos on there too, you guys. So um, it's, it's fun. I mean, who would have thought 10 years ago when I was uh, trying to, maintain a faux finish business and it was starting to go out of style and I was getting devastated. I didn't know what I was gonna do. Hi, Debbie Gordon, you're okay. I didn't know what in the world I was gonna do and I kind of floundered and didn't work for a few years and then during COVID, I had a lot of time to think and reflect and uh, pray about where I was gonna get my next job and I decided to start teaching these online and um, it's been the best thing I've ever done. I love it. And I know all the other crafters feel the same way. It's such a great crafting community. Uh, Christy with uh, Christy's Crafty Cottage, 
um, Royal Funky Junk, Creating with Chris Hunter, Shars, Art from the Heart. Uh, Tammy, I can't remember what your, which, drop your link, Tammy, because I can't remember which one you, uh, what the, what your name is on the deal. Uh, Michelle Rosenthal, thank you so much. Where did I get the sweater? I, um, where did I get this sweater? You know, I don't know. I probably, oh, I know where I got it. I just got it this weekend at, uh, uh, Daisy Blue or Blue Daisy. I don't know if they're nationwide. It's a little boutique, but they had all of their sweaters for one day on the 30th. You had one day to buy and, um, Every sweater in the store was $20, and this was originally 100 something. So it was the best day, and I, I was able to get a bunch of stuff. So uh, Crafty Peep, oh, Tammy, you are Crafty Peep. Okay, I, was, I wanted to say that, but I wasn't sure. I just sent you a private message because I think you're coming up after me, and if so, I sent, I sent your link to Kathy Spang. So if, if you're not after me, then we're gonna just promote the heck out of you today, I guess. Okay. I hate to do this to you guys, but I have to. Hey, 500 people, thanks you guys. Uh, did I make the red tassels? Oh, I wish I did, I'm not that clever, trust me. I'm a little clever, but I'm not that clever. But you could, oh my gosh, you guys, I wish I had, hold on. I'm gonna go back and pull it out and we're gonna look at it because I'll bet you a million bucks you guys could make it a lot cheaper. Okay, let's talk about this. This is just a piece of cardboard covered in red felt. And, uh, well, I'm sure it's a, a machine stitch, but it looks like a hand stitch. Okay, so that's what they did on the back. Cut out, a, and then look, you could go to the pom-pom aisle at the craft store and just add a whole bunch of little, I'm so sad I didn't think to do that now. That would have been so fun. So if you can't find this, I got it at, uh, uh, home goods, $9.99. If you can't find it, you could really make your own and that would be so adorable. Uh, so I'm gonna cut this, cause this just comes on its own and you can hang it up, but I'm going to, I wanna cut that part off, I don't need it. Okay, now we're gonna do our drag. So this is what, if you love Mackenzie Childs like we do, uh, she does what's called a background drag where there's different colors in her stripes and in her checks. I gotta keep a hold of my stud muffin and not lose him. I gotta keep him right here by me. Uh, and she does uh, the background drag. And it's just for interest. A lot of people say, well, why in the world are you doing that? Trust me, you don't have to, you do you, but um, we love the look and it is a designer look. So I'm just going to use a Deco Art Americana Antique Gold and uh, we have been unbelievably sponsored by Deco Art. They have taken such good care of us. And um, so shout out to Deco Art. If you're gonna buy paint, buy Deco Art. It's the only stuff I paint. And I don't get money for this or anything, but um, they do send me some free products. But I'm telling you, uh, I, I like it better than any of the other paints. Sometimes folk art is a little thick and uh, and then sometimes it's just right. So you never know, but I've always had great luck with Americana. So now I'm going to grab a shader brush. And a shader brush is just any brush that has like long, thin hairs. This is a great shader brush. Uh, Diane, how's my mom? She's doing great. She'll be here tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah, tomorrow I'm, on, um, I'm right here again. I'm studio at 10.30 in the morning. Um, with Craft Around the Clock. That's what I had to think, who, who am I with tomorrow? Craft Around the Clock, and that's at 10.30 tomorrow morning, so if you want to, and that's my time. That is uh, uh, MST, so Mountain Standard Time. So that would be 11.30 uh, Central. That whole time change thing, you guys, why can't we get rid of that? What is the point anymore? I don't think there is a point. So you just picked up your paints, oh good. Oh, that's right, and they are all 50% off. Um, thank you for asking. It is navy blue. Believe me, these are the best colors. It's just antique gold, navy blue, and I'm using lamp black. Those are my three colors. That's what I use. I'm also going to add a tiny bit of white to my plate. Oh my goodness. 
so that I can tone the colors down just a little bit. There we go. And, uh, okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to have your brush up and down, not flat, get your brush up and down and dip into your antique gold, just like that. Flip your brush all the way over. This is called double loading your brush. Hi, Cecile. Hello, everybody. And I'm just going to barely tap in the blue. I just need a little bit. Well, that was a little bit shy, but I just need a little bit. I'm gonna wipe it on my plate and see what I've got. And look at how pretty that is. Double load your brush every time. I tell this, this is the, uh, that's the only rule I have in life for you is if you're painting, always do two colors so it looks like it's hand painted. Otherwise it looks, I always say it, a little elementary if you don't. Now if I wanted the colors to be toned down a little bit, I'm just going to, on my antique gold side, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white and you can see what that did. It just toned it way down. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of each color because I like it a little bit darker. And all I'm doing is going right in some of these crevices, not all of them. And I know right now you're probably panicking. Don't, it'll be fine, it'll be beautiful. This is what you do, so for just for extra color. Some people like a pure clean black and white striper check. That is so fine. You do you, do whatever works best for you. You know what, there's no rules, and thank God there aren't. Okay, so that's it. I just want a little bit of interest. And now I'm going to grab a, how big is this? I'm gonna grab a, um, let's see. Yeah, this is a Zen, uh, your white came out in a heart shape. Oh my gosh, it totally did. Oh, how funny. God, somebody's got great eyeballs, I'll tell you that, because I would have never noticed that. That's funny, thank you, my earrings were my Christmas present. Okay, and now I'm just going to take a Zen, this is a Zen Level 2, number 10. Here's what they are. They are short, fat, flat, and firm. So when you put that on your, if you're in the store and you wanna go, I don't know if this is a good brush or not, put it on your, the back of your hand, and if the bristles don't spread out, it's a great brush. This is the best one I've ever found. You guys, I have taught thousands, literally thousands of women, mostly women, a few men, who came along, was dragged in by their wife, but um, how to paint black and white checks and black and white stripes. And this is by far the best brush. It is a Series 73 Zen Blender Flat Quart. And if you go to my studio, www.studiomdaz.com, so it's the only difference, studiomdaz.com, you'll find Debbie's favorite resources. And these brushes will be there with links, the colors I use, the paints I use, my lipstick, I think, <laughs> my glasses. Uh, so anyway, it's all on there, so you can um, check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some paint in my bristles. And just so you know, when you're first using your brush, you wanna do this, load it up, get some, get some paint in those bristles. Don't just come in, get some paint and start slapping it on. Get your bristles really well, uh, you know, juiced up. And then I'm gonna come right to here and I'm just gonna kinda make up my own stripes. I don't really know where I want this, but I think I'm just gonna start, I know I want this bottom, so yeah, we're just winging it, you guys, and that's my favorite thing about life. Don't take it too seriously and just wing it. And let me make sure I'm straight, because sometimes when I paint backwards for everybody, I screw it up for myself. Okay, so, and that's what we're gonna do. Every couple, uh, I don't want it too much. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I want, it, I want our stripes to be bigger. So I'm gonna take this whole bottom part in black because I think it'll be darling. Yeah, I like that better. We needed that bottom. Uh, Mary Jane, thank you so much. I would, um, I, I would rather teach than anything in the whole world. I feel like it is something I, I can do and I love doing it. So I appreciate you saying that. Okay, I'm just gonna come in here, grab another one. And they, they have the ridges right in here, you guys, so it's very easy to stay in the lines, just like you're coloring. 
and I'm gonna go all the way to that next, that next ridge. And now you can see a little bit of that color stayed there, and that's all you want. You just want a tiny bit. This is the extra, it's not the main character of our movie, so you just want a tiny bit left over. Now I have to really think through where my next stripe will be, but look how simple. And I hope I have an hour, I think I do. If not, we're, we're all in trouble because you guys know I'll start panicking right at the end again. Uh, let's see, did I do that right? There, 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 yep, okay, then we're here. So you see, just easier for me to paint every other stripe or paint the whole thing white and then go back in and do the black. And I do the same thing with checks. Uh, Jackie Jackson, hi friend, hi Joyce. Uh, the hearts came from a couple different places. This one that I'm holding in my hand was tin with the red and it is from Hobby Lobby. And I have another one here. Uh, it's adorable, and this one is from Home Goods. So, just look around, you guys. I always say you don't have to use exactly what I'm using. I, I anything I do is just inspiration. You can do the same exact thing if you want to, but I, I try and just do it all for inspiration. And this whole top part, oh good. But you see, even though I had a, I I, I had some other colors in there. I don't care, just paint right over it. You just want a touch of those colors. I'm gonna bring it in here. Otherwise, I would be doing every other, you know, I, I run too much risk of running the white into the black, black into the white every time if I don't do it that way. Uh, Solly, you do? Good, I'm so glad. <laughs> You're sweet. Uh, I think it'll be adorable when it's done. And I wanted for tonight, I just wanted, a, a lot of times we do like major projects and I thought it'd be fun just tonight to do something that was just kind of more relaxing for everybody and fun and funny. And so that's why I'm doing uh, I'm the little stud muffin. Isn't that funny? It's like, I've really got to think through this every time where I'm at. So you, you need to too, just usually I should have made a little mark, a little pencil mark in every other one. Uh, where are the Americana paints? Uh, is it Hobby Lobby you guys where they're off? I think it is, I think it's Hobby Lobby where all the Americana paints are. Is it 50 off or 30 off this week? I don't know that paints go 50 off. So somebody else check that. Um, again, just making sure that I'm not going too far, and I didn't. Okay, easy peasy, you guys, come on. That, you know what I say, a monkey could do this. So, okay, so cute, that's adorable. And uh, look at, it's just how it changed it already. Uh, I'm hoping I took a picture before, I can't remember if I did or not. Oh well, if I didn't, it's okay. 30 off, that's what I thought. Yeah, it is very rare for Hobby Lobby to do anything at 50 off with paint. They're amazing at everything else. And here's what I'm gonna do. Couple places where I just went over with the white. I'll, I'm just gonna go over with the black real quick. And I'm gonna rub it in with my finger and it's going to fade in with everything else and nobody will ever know the difference. This, and this is just tin up here. That's not even white, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Okay. So the next thing I wanna do is now I wanna do dry brushing. So dry brushing is when you take your same, that shader brush that we used a second ago, we're gonna use that again. Keep losing my paper towel. So I, I washed it off, well, not very well, but I, I kinda did it. It's gonna be cute, you guys. Uh, they do 50s on Master's Touch, that is correct. Okay, and now I'm gonna dip into our white heart. How cute is that? I still can't believe you saw that, Kathy, or somebody saw it. And I'm gonna dip in. Again, loading up my brush, but I'm gonna wipe it all right back off on my plate, and this is called dry brushing. I just want a touch of that white. And so this is what gives your black, it takes away some of the harshness, and if you see me looking away, it's my clock. I'm just trying to make sure where I'm at. Uh, it takes away the harshness of the black and just gives it a little bit more 3D 
just a pop of, you know, just a little pop of color. Again, if, you, if you're looking at this and you go, well, I don't like that one little bit, don't do it, all right? <laughs> just don't do it. Don't get mad at me, don't yell at me, just don't do it, it doesn't matter. But I love the look of it, and if you look up the Mackenzie Childs uh, designer, you'll see this is, what, um, this is what their stuff looks like. Okay, so do you see how that just gave it just a whole different look and toned it down a little bit? Helena, thank you so much. Thank you, hi guys. Uh, okay, I've gotta hit this again. Sorry, I hate this, but all right. So one time I get to really look. Uh, Kathy will get him, don't worry. Uh, did I find my stud muffin? I don't know, I will tell. Marcella, thank you. You guys, this will be adorable. I really, I really think it will. And if I didn't mention it, Chris Hunter's in the house, y'all. Hi, Michelle. Michelle Bellator. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, Beth Wynn, if you were in Australia, try... Oh, I missed it. Uh, so, they go so... You guys have no idea. When you got this many people on, the, the comments are just flying by, and it's really hard to catch them all. And I, I'm, you know, I can't do 17 things at once. Uh, I try to, but it, it's, I'm not very good at it. So anyway, here we go. So we've got that done. And that is our part of the Mackenzie Childs look. I'm going to use, um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna use DuraClear because I don't need this to be like, look like glass, I just want it shiny. So I'm gonna use DuraClear Gloss Varnish. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or uh, Michael's all day long. They almost always have it. So, uh, <laughs> I was, Kim. Uh, yeah, Bill is, he's very, very handsome. Okay, so DuraClear. Now normally, I'm just gonna tell you, and I don't wanna confuse you, I don't wanna confuse anybody, but when I'm doing other things, let me see what I've got back here that I've done. Well, if you can see uh, this little lady back here, I've got um, a, a mixture of these two together. Triple Thick is very glossy and it's fabulous but it's super thick, it, it's just thick, and it's a, a little hard to paint with. DuraClear is fabulous, but it's a little runny. So the two together make a perfect marriage, so it's three parts DuraClear, one part triple thick. If somebody will write that down in the comments, three parts, uh, sorry, three parts triple thick, one part DuraClear. So that's, what, but I'm just using the DuraClear because I don't need this to be ridiculously shiny. And the absolute key to sealing anything is, uh, oh, I love you, Chris. The key to anything is having a soft, big brush when you're sealing. That's the key, because if your brush isn't super soft, you're gonna get those streaks, and I can't stand it. Oh my goodness, my friend Justin's in the house today too. So Justin is the crafty brother, you guys. And uh, if you haven't followed him, you need to go follow Justin from The Crafty Brother. He has the most soothing voice. He's not hard to look at. And for, a, for ladies just to have somebody other than, you know, females crafting all the time, it's, it's a very fun, nice change. Uh, hi, Isabel. Three parts triple thick, one part Duraclair. Yes, thank you so much. So, uh, yeah, I'm involved in a group called the Sparkle Six, and it there it's uh, six of us crafters, and uh, it's Chris Hunter from Creating with Chris Hunter, Kathy D. Domenico from Royal Funky Junk, Justin from the Crafty Brother, uh, Beth from Rekindled Blessings, uh, Shana from Frame It and Contain It, and myself. So there's six of us, and we make up the Sparkle Six, and we do different types of events and stuff. But um, we are going to go live on a Zoom call, all six of us creating something together on uh, Friday night. So just FYI, if anybody's interested, Friday night we'll be on a Zoom call. They, they're, they're pretty funny. All right, I'm gonna stay away from that because that black was a little bit not dry yet right there. Watch my time. Okay. 
There we go. And look at the difference. Let me get rid of some of these drips. That's the key when you're sealing too, you guys. Make sure you're getting all your drips. Go back and just check it one more time. Uh, what is triple thick and DuraClear? Lisa, it's a uh, sealer, a high gloss sealer, both of them. Uh, hi, Amy. Uh, yes, it's such a great group. Okay, look how cute, you guys. Now you can see the sheen, and now it all matches. So you didn't want a, you, you wouldn't want to use chalk paint and not seal it with a shiny heart. It would look ridiculous. So, well, maybe not ridiculous, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be great. Just let's say that. It's not going to be great. Okay, so... Now I'm excited because all I ever want to do is just embellish. I really don't care about the painting part as much as I love to embellish. And uh, uh, everybody loves Justin for sure. You, uh, that's okay, you guys. Well, that's the only thing I don't like about going in a major, uh, like one of our business pages because you get, you get weirdos. And when I'm in my private pages, that doesn't, well, some of you might be weirdos, but in my, pri in my private p pages, but for the most part, everybody's normal. So I'm just going to take some hot glue because you guys, I'm, I'm doing this on a time constraint and I, uh, and I can. So I'm just going to do that. This is just scrap paper, scrapbook paper. I'll show you in a sec. This regular scrapbook paper. And I want to back it because I didn't want, okay, come on. Let's throw some hearts because this is really getting cute. Uh, thank you, Chris. I couldn't remember exactly what time. And you guys, thank you, thank you, uh, from literally from the bottom of my heart for these stars. Seriously, I, I can't thank you enough. Um, I, it, what's so funny is I don't see any of their stuff. So if trolls are, are trying to get crafters' attention, we don't see them. I don't know why. They just fly through. And so, anyway, just a bunch of losers. Don't have anything to do. Okay, and here's what I wanted. I just, I really loved this better than I love the red here, but I don't mind a little bit of the red showing through. And I just kind of love how it's all sitting right now, but I don't want to glue it down yet. Uh, okay, so let's get our stud muffin. And I want to stick him so that he fits nicely. So I think we need to get his hat, his uh, crown on first. Let me see, we're gonna have to cut him and that's okay, but I wanna make sure I keep his upper body. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to put the crown on first. So this is why I got this crown, this particular crown from Metal Gallery. Let me put it on and then I'll show you again. Is because look, his head fits right in it. It's one of those. Oh shoot, I forgot to take the back off. I will, I'll do that right now. Uh, it is cute. Actually, I could probably pin it now that I think about it. That might help us. I'm going to keep it on for this second. Okay, come on, you guys. This is so stinking cute. Um, I need to cut out in his, uh, in his arms. Let me see what I've got. Ah, I didn't notice it before. I need just a little tiny brush. All right, hold on, you guys. It's all right here. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to use something else. What do I have just to poke it with? Uh, you gotta keep, well, yeah, I've gotta keep his upper body. Oh, for crying out loud. What, <laughs> how, how did I not plan this thing out? All right, I'm just gonna poke a hole. Oh, for crying out loud. This is so thick. We'll just see if this works. I wanna poke a hole on both of these sides and see if I can get, I don't think I can get my brush in my, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my deal in. Oh yeah, I can, okay. Nobody panic, we're back in business. Everything's gonna work out. And then we're gonna put some stickles and uh, a little bit, and if you're not familiar with stickles, it's, stick, it's Ranger Stickles. I buy them on Amazon. Uh, he, he, he's a little studly, he's not major studly, but he's a little studly. Uh, Ranger Stickles, and I'm gonna show you in one second what they look like. And uh, they are the coolest thing and it's going to add a lot of fun dimension to our project. Stickles is like a glitter glue, but a thousand times better. So Stickles, by it's on Amazon, uh, Ranger Stickles, or I think Jody, I think it's Jody, Jody Christensen, uh, buys them right on ranger.com. I'd never even done that. Uh, so try ranger.com for these. They're amazing. My favorite colors are, well, this one is, um, my gosh, I can't see it. 
uh, Christmas red. This is Christmas red and it's a great red. And um, there is also a mercury glass. Let me show you what these look like because I'm not kidding. If, I'm, if I have, you know, 15 minutes, I'd like to show you everything cool that you could go buy. Glisten is another one and it's just beautiful and it makes everything super shiny. And then mercury, mercury glass is the other one I love. So now you have all my loves. And I do think that we have a link for those also. Guys, can you believe I'm having such a hard time with this? They, uh, okay. Oh, crap. Every day. <laughs> it's always something. Uh, and those scissors are killing me too. My mom just got me new scissors for Christmas because every time she comes over, she's a seamstress, and every time she comes over, she's like, you have the worst scissors I've ever been around. Fred is really a king. He does. Yeah, this guy deserves. Freddie Mercury, he does deserve a crown. Okay, and so where did I get the words for looking for my stud muffin? Because you guys, of course, I have the words too. Um, all I did was write it on my, let's see if I can get this off. Uh, yeah, I think I wanna, I, I'm gonna at least get the this pin off, this part. Um, gotta have, you gotta have, gotta have tools, you guys. Okay, so let's see what we need to cut. Get him right in there, and let me turn him around so you guys can see. I'm gonna stand up, because if, if no one's ever told you, I'm really short. Uh, okay, I think we'll cut him. <laughs> Let's take him just below his knees. Sorry, sorry, Freddie. And, oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna be so cute. I kinda want him off to the side a little bit, but it's not gonna look right if he is. So, uh, you know what I want to do? I want to pop him up a little bit. I want him to be popped up. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, why didn't I think about that 10 minutes ago? Um, so for those of you that uh, I've had people say, don't you know what you're doing ahead of time? No, not always. Sometimes you stuff happens as you go, just like you do at home. I mean, we're no different. You're just crafting and all of a sudden you have a better idea and you switch midstream and that's, Kind of what I do because I, I love everything to be super fun. And uh, if I need to change it up midstream, I will. Not too proud. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's exactly what needed to happen. Look at him now. So now I just put like a Jenga block underneath him. And so now he's 3D. All right, so let me glue the, I'm gonna glue the Jenga block. And you guys, for today, I'm just using all hot glue. I'm sure somebody, somebody will say something. It's okay, you'll get over it. Okay, you gotta have him popped off. I mean, that's gonna be the cutest part of this. Uh, okay, we're, we're fine, right guys? We got plenty of time. Okay, now I need to, um, all right, this is why I say nobody talk to me. I gotta concentrate for one second and get this on. Let me get his legs in and let me get his crown on. Oh my gosh, hold on. Uh, I might have to cut his legs just a teeny bit. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's hot glue this on and then and you guys, I will probably go back and re-glue these with something, you know, a little bit better. But for now, just for time purposes, like I said, I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh, he's adorable. All right, so I'm going to do my words first. I'm going to do stickles last because stickles takes about... <laughs> Thank you, guys. Stickles takes about uh, an hour to dry, and it's a disaster if you put it on too early. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do his little swimsuit. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, in the middle. Oh, uh, Linda, I'm sorry, Freddie Mercury. Well, it's just, we're using him as just kind of a, you know, a stud, stud muffin. Just Valentine's Day funny, but oh my gosh. How much do you love that? And so let's get the words. So here's all I did. I, 
I just printed them on my email, uh, literally about three minutes before I came live. That's all I did. I printed it out on my email. So I like sent an email to myself, printed it out because I didn't have time to get into word processing and all that other crap. Uh, so I printed it out right there on my email. Emailed, but then when I printed it, I printed it at like made it bigger. So I don't know if that makes sense. You know, you, you can print it at like 150% or something. And that's what I did. And it's perfect. And the, the lettering is so fine for this. So just anytime you see a funny, funny saying, just write it out yourself. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to have a perfect one. So, okay, let's talk about where we want this. My original thought would have been to put it right here, but we've still got the Cupid's arrow, but now I'm wondering, do we even want Cupid's arrow? Do we need it or did we just like, God, knock it off, Debbie, it's enough is enough. Well, it's kind of cute. Tell me what you guys think. It's kind of cute with that. Uh, the font in your letter. Yeah, you can always change the font. Yeah, but I was fine with this one. It didn't bother me at all. So, um, if we're going, if we're not going to, okay, let's just talk about this. If we're not going to use the big arrow, uh, this is what happens every time, you guys, seriously. No arrow, yes to the arrow. Yes, I love the arrow. Uh, no arrow, no arrow. Really? Come on, you guys. So here's what, if we use the arrow, the arrow would go like this. All right, let me set it down. The arrow would go like this, okay? And then I would put looking for my on this side and then stud muffin on that side. Love the arrow, love the arrow. It goes with this crown, it does. So if you don't know me, I'm not a less is more. I'm a more is more kind of gal. And sometimes I do, you know, I go, I go off the rails sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I do. Yes to the arrow. It's a Valentine's Day, okay, it's Valentine's Day. It's not like, yeah, all right. So for those of you who didn't want the arrow, I'm sorry, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. So here's the other thing I want you to do when you've got, um, again, I wasn't really sure what I was doing, so that's the only reason I'm like rifling around in my drawers. Uh, you always want to, get a little bit of antiquing around this. So it does it because right now it looks like, oh, look, yeah, she printed it right off on her computer. Um, I want it to look like, oh, that was a cool idea. And I hope my sweater is short. If you just, if you guys just got a shot of the side of my belly, oh, I apologize, trust me. You, right now everybody's scratching their eyes out if you did, I'm so sorry. I didn't even think about it when I did that. But anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, Yes, arrow, no, yeah, I, I, I have seen a lot more yeses. Okay, and so you just take anything, a little, you know, a little sponge, and um, I do love this one, you guys. This is called, uh, this is by Ranger Tim Holtz. This is called Vintage Photo, and it's a great one. So it's Distress Ox. <laughs> Did you guys, somebody tell me, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it, and I'm gonna be mortified, I know I am. But it wouldn't be the first time, and it certainly won't be the last time that I'll have been mortified. Okay, so you love the arrow? Okay, everybody, I always say, Debbie Hicks has great taste. If she loves it, let's do it. Can, uh, can he be placed on top of the arrow? Hmm. Not anymore, because I've glued that sucker down. He's down, he's down for the count. Uh, another blooper, oh, well, Pamela, you know, every day it's something, so. Uh, let me show you now. Look at the difference in just adding that. It toned it all down, brings the whole project together. Arrow, words on top, arrow. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We don't need to worry about it. And uh, so I wanna say looking for my, okay. And if I'm gonna cut it in the middle right there. Oh my gosh, look how shaky I am. You know why? I haven't had any sugar today. Um, I'm, I'm trying a little bit, not bad. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Kate, not bad, I promise. Okay, that's funny. Oh well, what's a little skin among friends? Exactly, that's, I mean, it could have been worse, you guys. It seriously could have been much worse, so just be grateful that's all it was. Oh my gosh. Uh, cut the arrow in half, oh, for crying out loud. How much time do you think I have, Kim Whitmore? No, we're not gonna, I, I don't have time for all that nonsense. Uh, 
But once I get the words down, then I will see. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love him, I love him. Let me get some, uh, a glue stick. Luckily I have, uh, if you saw my area, you would crack up because when I'm done with a live, I have stuff on the floor, I have stuff every inch of this area. And, um, but I, ha I need to have everything within reaching distance of me because I, I don't wanna be gone too long. Uh, so it looks like it punctured his heart. Okay, I like that idea. Let me see if I can try, I, I can do that. See, I need the words to be up high enough. Uh, I'm not even in the screen, you guys. I, do you know how many times I do that when I'm on this, when I've got the camera this way, I just hate it. Um, okay, real quick. How am I doing on time, you guys? Am I, I'm probably getting close. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got that. All right, let's, uh, five minutes to go. Oh, piece of cake. Uh, okay, the only thing we have left to do, you guys, is glue on the arrow. And yes, we're using the arrow. For those of you who didn't want it, sorry, but we've got to use it. Um, oh, that would have been so cute to pierce right through his heart. I see what you're saying, but it's not gonna happen. Uh, there's no way it's gonna happen. So we're just gonna have to live with it, but it looks adorable. So the next thing we're gonna do is our stickles. Try the words in the arrow. No, I'm good with this. I think it's cute. So I want to, that red band on his uh, little shorts here, I want to really emphasize. Now tell me, would any of, any of you guys thought to do this? Just funny. But what a great little, uh, crying out loud. If you, like I said, if you have a single girlfriend, what a crack up project this would be. But you could also do something like this, seriously. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get it. You could also do something like, just like this, just on a card, on a playing card. So, oh yes, 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 okay, here we go. but I want you to see the difference. Uh, let's see, that comes down a little bit. Look at how shiny that is now. And when it dries, it dries even shinier and it's adorable. Uh, we could have done diamond dust on this too, but I think this project just screams, just, you know, let's do just normal. Don't try and save the world on this one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna glue it down. This is the last thing we have to do, you guys. Uh, I think this is a miracle that I have actually finished a project. Usually I'll say, okay, well, I'll, I'll finish it up and then post a picture, but I feel pretty good about myself right now. You're gonna make one for your friend, Pamela? I'm so happy. It's just fun, you guys. My word for the year is celebrate. Uh, Rose, long enough, you've had it with us, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, my word is celebrate, and that's what I'm about this year. I wanna celebrate you, I wanna celebrate me, I wanna celebrate life and people we love, and um, we've had enough garbage for a few years, you guys. I wanna have fun this year. So I hope you wanna have fun with me, Studio MDAZ. Uh, again, I have Check Savvy Sisters, and that's my free page, and that is for all of you guys to just go and share your, your works with each other. And great inspiration for everybody. Uh, stickles on his drawers uh, all the way around? I'll, I'll have to think about that. I don't know, I don't wanna overdo it. I, I did get done on time, Kathy Dean, I can't believe it. Uh, Suzette, thank you. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys. Um, and this is the ribbon that came on it, and I'm gonna leave it on there. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And um, yeah, I think that's it, you guys. I am so impressed with myself. Oh my gosh, I just saw how many stars you guys sent me. 3,688 stars. I wish I knew what they were for, but I thank you so much. I know there were some money and that is so, so sweet of you guys. And um, so coming up next is the Crafty Peep. And I think we have her, or she had a, we had a link here for her. So thank you, Diane. Oh, my mom's here. I never even saw her the whole time. Thank you, Patricia. Um, thank you, Pamela. Yeah, so just follow me. 
Check Savvy Sisters, Studio MD AZ. Look me up on YouTube. And um, I hope you enjoyed this and it will be for sale in our auction probably end of January, 1st of February. I love you all. I hope you had a great time. I did. I really enjoyed it. And um, I, will, uh, I will see you later. I'll be back on tomorrow morning here, 10.30 my time. I think it's 11.30 Central. So if, you, if you're not doing anything, come on back. I got something else up my sleeve for tomorrow. All right. I love you guys. Thank you again so, so much for all the stars. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, have a great night. Bye.